Today, we're making the global favorite spaghetti and meatballs! Yay! Oh, these homemade meatballs have simmered in this amazing sauce or gravy. It's spaghetti and marinara topped with a beautiful meatball. And on top of that meatball is all covered in cheese. <laughs> Trust us, every bite is meatball paradise. That's right. <laughs> what is it, Cloudy, with a chance of? Meatballs, <laughs> yay. So I'm Chris. Yeah, I'm My big old meatball. <laughs> and today I'm a meatball. He is a meatball Go like no world other world. meatball. So let's start making <laughs> spaghetti and meatballs. Yay. What a great day. Day this is all okay. Right, so let's do the meatballs first. First of all, we need to, we're we, gonna our trick. Yeah, okay. yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> our trick to make these really juicy it's and not moist. Our trick. It's everyone's trick. Yeah, it's but everybody's okay. trick. But I've got three pieces of bread here. We cut off all of the crust because you don't want that crust to get in the way. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna soak it. You're I'm gonna tear put, it up first. Oh, I'm gonna tear it up first. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Well, I could have so. Oh no, you're it's right. It's easier if you just tear yes, it. All right. you, you just tear it. Doesn't yep. have to be super tiny. Mm -hmm. All right. So what this does is it, it, it's gonna absorb that milk and then we're going to uh, incorporate as he's very carefully I was, I was, I was off to you such ready a good to do start. It. I'm like, hey, we're done. Anyway, we, as soon as that gets done any day now, we're going to incorporate this into the meat mixture that I'm going to put together soon. And that really is a big, you know when you bite into a meatball and it's really just almost melts in your mouth? Yes. In your mouth that's what helps do that. Alright, so hold on. It, it I'm doesn't have done. to be super, it doesn't have to be like add atomic uh, particles. Well, you told me not big. Just, <laughs> I told him before we got started, you don't have to really be super meticulous with this. Just all right, I've got my meat, my, wow, my okay. bread all confetti. Okay. <laughs> you told him. Stop it. Anyway. And then I've got a cup of milk here. Just I'm just going to get it soaked okay. in. Okay. So now I am going to get started over here. I've got a pound and a half of ground beef. I like it with a little bit of fat flavor, so this is 85% lean. And then we're going to do a half a cup of ground pork. Now you can do what we call I don't know, do people call it this, the Holy Trinity, which is ground pork, beef, and veal. veal. And um, so you would do, how, or you could do like a pound of beef and a quarter of pork and a quarter of veal. I, did, I couldn't find any veal at the store. And it's, you know, I think beef and pork is just as delicious. So we're just going yeah, to I pork and beef So I've got two <laughs> eggs here, I know. And um, so anyway, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate yeah. this, these eggs. So now that's well what incorporated. Sure, if you want to dump that in. Okay. So let's talk about this real quick. These are my, we're going to add a quarter cup of bread breadcrumbs. These are, we did these are breadcrumbs. Just oh, okay. dump them in there. Right. So what we did, I, you don't have to do this. You can just use store-bought breadcrumbs, but this is really good. I had uh, two uh, slices of just country white bread, which is what yours was. Right. You cut Again, off the... I took off the, the crust mm -hmm. and then I just got out my trusty um, food processor and I kind of tore that up. And then to that, let's see if and I can you blend it this. up. You got it all. I blended it up and got yeah. coarse, you know, kind of in the shape of, of breadcrumbs. And then now help me remember this, the yeah. order of this. We added some, um, some herbs, we added some parsley, and then we added some, some cheese. cheese, some Parmesan cheese, and then, you and then added we added some, some garlic. garlic, some fresh garlic, and then a nice healthy pinch of salt. And oregano. And Oh, I'm sorry, and dried oregano, and then salt and pepper, and then you just pulse that until it's blended together, yeah. and it just makes this beautiful, and again, it, it, it acts as a binder, but it also acts as a real flavor enhancer. But, but people it, could also just use Italian Regular bread. Italian breadcrumbs. Yeah. Okay, now here we've got three tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley. Oh, I was going to help you. Oh, okay. Good. Messy. Thank you. And then, well, that's why I'm wearing my gloves. I, know, I can just but take them off. Okay. <laughs> and so then we're going to, we've got two tablespoons of, of fresh basil. basil. Please go with fresh if you possibly can. You could use dried and it'd be okay. That's uh, like three nice sized cloves of garlic right. that I minced. Not yet. Okay. okay. So now I'm going to mix this all together. How are your breadcrumbs over there? So you Oh, want, they are soaked. You want to do the breadcrumb. I'm, I'm sorry. You want to do that bread first because you really want that bread to have the opportunity to soak oh, up that is. milk. Um, you can you know, even. When I was a kid, my father used to eat milk with bread and he'd put sugar over that. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, my time. grandpa used to. Do that. Yeah. I think that was a, like a, a grandpa oh. thing to do. I know it's it's sweet and delicious and filling. Yep. And it's good. Okay. So now let's go ahead and you want to do these? Do that. Just grab it with your hand and just you don't need we don't need quite all that milk. All right. So I'm gonna squeeze a little yeah, bit. Yeah. There you go. Just, that's like okay. That. That's perfect. Just okay. doesn't have to be over. That's good. Worked. All of that. Yeah. All right. Yep. Hold on. It's okay. Just right. if you get you want to have some of the milk in there. Okay. Got it. Okay. I got you, Chris. <laughs> It's so much fun cooking together. <laughs> okay. Here, I got it. 
All right. Okay. Okay. A little more Tell of that bread. Okay. So that's good. So now I'm going to start. There you go. Now I just that's got everything you, messy. That's okay. They, we're making meatballs. Yeah, it's going to get a little out. messy. Okay. So now we've got a cup of uh, grated Parmesan cheese. That's a very important ingredient. We're going to do a nice, a healthy teaspoon of salt. I like kosher salt. Yeah. Just dump it in there, and then a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Got Beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to start <laughs> mixing this all up. And you can see those that beautifully torn bread that Wesley did. It, it just you it, know I'm known for my soap. I do. People torn come bread. from all over the place to watch you tear bread. <laughs> you tear into that bread. Okay, so now um, and don't worry if it's it may not seem like wow it doesn't look like beef anymore, but it will. It soaks oh. all of that just soaks in. Keep on mixing. And you want to keep mixing it until it gets really beautiful, and it's going to feel a little sticky at first, which is okay. That's normal. That's why I like to wear these gloves. It just makes handling it a little bit yeah, easier. Yeah. But no, you don't have to by all means. And then yeah, um, you're on your in your own kitchen. Your hands are clean. Just get in. Just there get in get there dirty. and do it. That's right. And then uh, what we're going to do just to kind of help it like stiffen up just a little bit. The loon who just happens to have a piece of <laughs> yeah. plastic wrap. We're going to cover it with plastic wrap. Yeah, beautiful. And then we're going to stick it in the fridge. We're going to stick it in the fridge for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes um, while you get started on our beautiful marinara. And just Yum. like magic, uh, this marinara, y'all, or gravy. I don't know what what we. What true, I think, like true, like especially New York oh, Italians. New York Italians or there just Italians. Go. They're gonna call it gravy. Um, a gravy. A gravy. Is that how they say? It? Yeah, they say a gravy, just like that. I mean, it's exactly like that. Okay, so now we've got our trusty heat. I'm gonna crank my heat. You want a nice large pot. Um, because we're going to make the marinara, yes. and then we're going to simmer the. These are eventually going to become meatballs um, after Wesley puts it in well, the Well, I just wanted to make it all clean. It's clean. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so now let me bring this over here. I have got. We're all over the place here. I've That's got okay. a quarter cup of olive oil. You're just going to use good quality olive oil, and we're going to let that come to a nice um, heat till it starts to shimmer. And we are going to start to make this marinara. I'm telling you, you may have seen this before. I use it in everything. <laughs> I make it. I, I I say I freeze it, but we use it so much I don't ever get a chance to freeze it. But yeah, we and use we'll, it, we just use it for our weeknights too. We, it's great over pasta, but we yeah. use it in our baked ziti. We use it in our shrimp marinara. Our uh, chicken bomb. Parmesan. Chicken parmesan, eggplant parmesan. Oh, what a, is it the? Is it your pizza? What's it called? The um, steak pizza? Pizzaiola. Pizzaiola. I don't know. I don't oh, use it. In then that, never mind. But <laughs> you would be delicious in that. That's really just a tomato sauce. But even like our meatball a sub a oh. sub hero sandwiches, which we're going to do with these meatballs for sure. Forget it's going to be amazingly it. delicious. The the uses for this this marinara are endless. So now I've got that was a quarter cup. We're going to do a quarter cup of garlic. There's a nice amount of garlic in here. That's what you want. Okay, and I'm going to get one of my little. You trust your wooden salt. spatulas here, and I'm going to just start stirring it. And this is going to go for a, almost five minutes, and it's going to it's going to be more than just aromatic. Toasted we're going to get it like almost like a golden brown. Mm. Beautiful. We're not going to burn it, but it's going to get nice and golden brown. Okay, beautiful. Now you see Gorgeous. how that's kind of got. Yeah, like I said, you really got to watch this. Um, you don't. You do not want it to burn. If it burns, then it becomes acrid tasting, and you just got to toss it and start over. Yeah. Okay, so now you want to make sure you've got mise en place in place, everything in place, because this next part happens very quickly. I've got three tablespoons. Again, go with fresh, uh, fresh chopped basil. I've got two tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley. The smell is already through the roof, but just Ooh, wait. Y'all. I know. Now I got a teaspoon of salt. I got a half. A teaspoon of pepper <laughs> and we're just gonna smooth this around. It sounds like an Italian kitchen here. Woo y'all it Ooh, smells yeah. real good in the hair. <laughs> that's, that's right. Chris and Wesley make an Italian. Yeah. Okay. So this is you just wow. cook this for like 30 seconds until those um, herbs blossom and you just get that incredible, incredible I smell. Can smell it. I so can now smell let me it. talk about our tomatoes over here. We're using canned uh, San Marzano tomatoes. If you can get them, those are best. Make sure they're certified. Yeah. Um, and I, they're 28 ounce cans. And all I did is you want to drain we got them. Three cans of them. Three cans. So I just. Um, <laughs> All I did was I just got a colander and I put it over this bowl because I want to start off with mostly just the tomatoes. So these are the, and I, I just pulled out the tomatoes by hand, put them in another bowl like 
this. And then, and then you use the spatula the to kind of push that sauce on through. And then there's, of course, going to be some juice left in here. Break these up with your hands if you can. Makes a little bit of a mess, but I've always said, <laughs> breaking them up by hand, that's the way to do it. Yes. Okay, and um, we're just going to get all always. these in you there. It's the way to do it. I don't know. I learned at a young age that that's the way you do it. <laughs> I was walking down the street in some Tuscan village, and a woman pulled me <laughs> off to the side, and she said, make sure you break your tomatoes by hand. <laughs> and that's a true story. Okay, so now we're, <laughs> we're going to just stir this together like this. Beautiful. And don't worry if you don't completely get those tomatoes bro uh, broken up. As they cook, they are going to break down. So now we're going to let this come to a simmer, and um, just kind of on medium, and we're going to let it simmer for about five minutes. Oh, the smell is Already Amazing. insane. Okay, mm. so this has been simmering now on kind of medium low for about five minutes. Now I'm going to crank the heat up to pretty high. I really wanted to get it almost to like a boil. And um, I'm going to put the lid on it because it's going to want to put it a jar like that and let it's it go gonna for get all over It's going to get very splattery, but that's good. <laughs> um, it's like a real Italian kitchen. And then we're going to let this go now for another 10 minutes. All right, now let's make some meatballs. Let's do it. I'm so excited. So so we, I grabbed my meat mixer out of the fridge, and now I've got my trusty scale here. Oh, because it went off. Let me make sure that I, because I want to make sure that these are all the same size, so I'm using all the same meat, amount of meat. So I want to do. So that's really helpful in making sure you have uniform size. Obviously, not everyone has a kitchen scale in their house. Right, if right. you want one, I have a, we have a link to it um, available for I want to do three ounces. That's, we found that that's the perfect, oh, that's almost three. <laughs> that makes Oops. a good ball. Three, perfect, yay. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and remember your trick of. Oh yeah, oh, I didn't do that. Well, actually, let me just, I could wet my hands, which I should have, but I don't wanna wet my hands. I'm just gonna do this right now. Look okay, so we have a ball of uh, a bowl of water here, and like I said before, this is really sticky. But Wesley decided he didn't want that. to use his use the water, but it really helps you keep it from sticking to your hands and make. I don't need to look forming the ball. I'm I know. Fine he, without the water. Not everyone is, is you know has those extra, As, extra moist well, palms I'm a, that Wesley has. I'm a has. professional meatball maker. Well, that's an understatement. All right, and I'm just going to set this over here on my uh, uh, parchment paper, and I'm going to do. Like all the rest of that. <laughs> like all of them? All of them. <laughs> Yay, wow. meatballs. Beautiful. We got about 15 out of that mixture, and they're nice sizes. I You'll like that. You'll get anywhere those. from 15 to 16 um, if you go around three ounces. And you can eyeball the size of them, of course. That's I no love problem. it. And now I'm going to, these guys got to go in the refrigerator for like an hour to or two, two hours. Or two hours. You, it's going to help. We're going to talk about how you keep your, your balls kind of in the, keep the shape. Um, there's some w different ways of doing that, and we're going to show you our favorite way of doing that in just a moment. But he's right. going to cover that and refrigerate it. Yeah. Now, this marinara is just beautiful. The smell is incredible. It went for um, about 10 more minutes on medium high, I'm going to say. Now I'm going to add this sauce. And we're just going to complete the process by adding the liquid from the tomatoes. And um, everything OK over there? Everything's fine. All right. Everybody uh, can do see not, everything whatever in happens, do not destroy meatballs. <laughs> anyway. OK, so now I'm just going to stir this in and now see that and see how those during that whole process, those tomatoes started to break down. And um, I'm going to crank this up to kind of a nice a medium, medium high, bring it to a good, strong simmer. And is that it? Is that that's it? It's going to go for another 12 minutes. Then we're going to let it cool. And then we have the best marinara in the world. Yum. Oh, the smell of this wow. is just heavenly. Y'all, okay. if you it is. It's really amazing. It's the most amazing. I, I love Chris's marinara, and uh, it's just, I, it's, you need it always yeah. on hand. You need it in your life. Yes. So, okay, so this uh, 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 this uh, uh. simmered for a nice, uh, like, 12 minutes. Just keep, like I said, you want to keep a, a lid handy because it really does splatter. And then we I turned off the heat, and you, it's really important that you just kind of let it sit there and let it cool off. Um, you can do this days in advance. It's even better because it gets better as those um, flavors meld. And, um, and then it's time to eat it or cook with it. Okay. All right. It's time to have a ball. I got all the balls right yeah. here. Okay. So now these these have been chilling. We got that done, and we continue we got to the let sauce done. We got your sauce right here. Mm. And um, so now these got nice and chilled. They're, they're they are, you know, they're still soft. So they're gonna flatten just a little bit as they sit in the fridge, and that's okay. Yeah. So th now what we've got, there are multiple ways of doing your balls, and I always when I was 
started doing it, I hated to not, I love the perfectly cylindrical, cylindrical balls. Am I saying that wrong? Circular balls, you know, like you get in SpaghettiOs, and um, that just stay part like this round as a tennis ball. And, but that's not so important. You, what I, you know, the, the only way you can really do that is if you get them perfectly uh, cylindrical and then drop them in, say, boiling water or like your hot marinara. And it's, that's gonna be okay, but what's really good is if you can put it in, you could also do it in the oven um, and get, you wanna get that, cr that exterior, that yeah. kind of crusty if you, exterior. If you throw them in the boiling water, then you'll miss out on that you crusty that. exterior. That, there's so much flavor in that. It goes right. into your sauce. It goes, that makes the meatballs better. Yeah. So I just, what I Fry do. Fry up your meatballs. You do them in the skillet. <laughs> I think that's best. Get a, um, the nonstick skillet. I'm using some forks, so be very careful on your nonstick surface. Um, and then just kind of move, in, and you're going to have to do them in batches. I start usually with like three, like Wesley just uh, put three in here. And just kind of, and I could have my skillet at a little height. It's, it's warming up now. Um, but just kind of do that and just kind of keep, help them keep their shape. And I, I don't want to touch, um, touch the meatballs uh, too much. I don't know why, I just don't want to touch them. Well, it, I mean, we chilled them for a reason. If you touch them too much, your warm little body is oh, going to heat them up. Oh, ding, 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 that's yeah, the yeah, answer. Yeah, there you go. That's <laughs> the one you're looking for. So we're going to keep cooking these. Like I said, this, this oil is going to heat up. I've probably got two tablespoons of olive oil in here, and that grease is going to be... The, the, they look great. They, yeah, they do. Yeah. They are. They will. And they'll, they'll can, and, but they are going to lose their shape a little bit. That's just the way it goes. Would you rather have a super tasty meatball that's a little misshapen or like a perfectly round one that's not near That's kind of like, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty, but I have nothing good to offer. So anyway, we're going to cook these up until they get nice and brown all over, and uh, you're going to see a perfect meatball. Okay, these are looking, now you see how they're, you know, they, they're still not a, like a tennis ball shape, but that's okay, they smell so good. Now as you're doing these, just be very careful as you, you know, don't want to hit them too hard with the fork or they'll start to come apart on you. And as they cook, um, you're not cooking them all the way through, you're just searing them on the sides. Um, they're gonna great. start to get a little, they're gonna really start to form into a meatball. So now I'm gonna do just very carefully take this one, they, they kind of, you, you may find they don't cook exactly the same just depends on the hot spots in your pan um, so but you want to get them really equally brown all over and um, I just do them in um, in stages this takes a little bit of time but that's okay and they can sit over there because then we're gonna cook them in that sauce oh is that a platter of beauty look at how gorgeous these meatballs are so who cares they're a little misshapen that's all right they look perfect to they me they all go to the same place I think they look great so okay so no we did all of those and um, just put them on a platter they're gonna collect some juices which is great which is what we want I've got my <laughs> marinara that it really uh, sat here for a while and got those uh, flavors going and I've got it on on a nice little simmer. So now we need to let the marinara and the meatballs get really, really close you to each other. You want to just dump or you no, want to grab? No, because I would... Because they're still a little delicate. They're delicate. So just you want to be, give them some uh, tender loving care. And you may not be able to get every single meatball in there. I think we can, but I'll often like, <laughs> well, we're, we're going to have one or two that we're going to save off get to the side. Get them all in there. Get all those know, meatballs in they're, there. They're meant to be chummy with each other. I think we're going to be able to do it. So anyway, <laughs> let's do it. Let's let's have a meatball, a meatball party. That's a meatball. Now paradise. see that juice. That's let's flavor, flavor, flavor. Do not that let that go there. to waste. Yes. So now this. So like we said, this we browned them on the inside. Um, now this is just going to let those flavors completely meld. It'll completely cook them. And oh my gosh, I'm I'm, I'm beside myself. I can't so, wait. I know. So now we got to cook up our spaghetti. We got to get our get our spaghetti spaghetti going. This is going to go from anywhere. Let it go, the 45 minutes to two hours. Just if you the longer you let it go, make sure you watch it. You don't want anything to burn to stick to the bottom because that will happen. So I like to let it go 45 minutes, and that's perfecto. Oh, I swear yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm at Mama Leone's. <sighs> <laughs> Mama Leone, is that closed? Oh, that closed a long time I ago. I know, my mirror wasn't at the Milford Plaza. Anyway, in New York City. Okay, look at that. The smell is just... Look at all that goodness. Intoxicatingly delicious. I love that you hit, mate, you fit all those meatballs. I know, I know. You got to do it. So, all right. So now we are ready to bring this home. So look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, let me tell you, you serve these just like that and people will flip. But we're going to make spaghetti and meatballs. So now what we need to do... Just to help ourselves, I'm gonna use a slotted spoon and I'm gonna take these beautiful meatballs out, each and every one of them, um, and we're gonna bring it all together with, with our spaghetti. So sit tight, um, we're almost there. Almost there. 
Let's have spaghetti and meatballs, shall Let's we? Do. I'm so ready. Okay, I've, we've got our meatballs over there. We've got our sauce here. I am going to. I've got everything. Cooked up. Hey, let me get. Um, let me do this so I don't burn myself. We got a nice big old pound of spaghetti Yay. that we've cooked over here. Cooked till al dente. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get this. I'm all over the place. That's I'm okay. Get this out of the water. There I don't want go. to keep cooking. Okay. There we, go. there we go. Now, we're gonna save that. Make sure, if you don't have one of these pasta pots, just save your pasta water, because you're gonna want to uh, add it to kind of loosen things up a little bit. So now, I this is the, you don't have to do this, but <laughs> I think this is really the best way to do it. It is, so, and it just coats that pasta. It really does, it's the it's the really the great way to do, to do, to make pasta with the sauce. So you're gonna put a couple of good scoops, I'd say that's about, probably about a cup of your sauce in there. And then we've got all oh, the spaghetti. Beautiful uh, spaghetti. That come on, spaghetti. There you go. Work with me. Anyway, that's gonna go in there. You got your pasta water right there. We got our pasta right here. And now we're just gonna start doing this, oh, incorporating this in. Amazing. And it just gives an. I'm gonna turn this down just a Tell little bit. Tell me when I need to add a little more. You can add a little more. And you just wanna just. It's what it does is it really coats the. Um, it really coats the pasta. And we're gonna loosen that pasta up a little bit with about, the, I'm using a whole pound of pasta, so I'm doing probably close to a cup of pasta water. Now look at that, isn't that beautiful? I keep, love it. Keep on adding that, Wesley. Okay, you got let's, it. Let's, let's get it. I can add more sauce, I'm the saucy man. I know I yours, you are saucy. <laughs> well, just don't be shy. All right. So we're just we gonna go. keep on adding, just mm. keep on adding them. Okay, wow. that's beautiful. A little more? Yeah, let's okay. get a good and saucy. I mean, it's your taste, but, you know, we like a little sauce. I mean, like if, you're, sauce. if you're going to go to the trouble to make this amazing marinara sauce, yes. you might as well sauce it up. All right, isn't that looking good? A little more? So, yeah, let's do a little, a little more. more. Let's do a little more. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? This, I am telling you, you make this and you serve oh, this to your guests. Hell. No Oops. one is going to say, <laughs> you know, I like my local restaurant better. This is as good. I promise you. Okay, that's good. So that looks I'm, wonderful, Chris. That is. That does look good. And just wait till we top it with All those right. meatballs. All right. I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay. I'm going to try and do this without creating a too giant of a um, mess. Okay, you're going to have to stretch it. Here we and go. And do it. <laughs> Beautiful. Lovely. A little more. <laughs> of course. Pull it up there. There we go. Yeah. Now, okay. Do you want to do a little for yourself real quick while you're still there? All right. All right. Let's do it. Right. Right. So this is one of those things that I like to call it a Sunday fun day project, um, you know, because clearly <laughs> this is not something we whipped up in, you know, 30 minutes. But here's the deal on that, is you can absolutely make this marinara up to a week in advance. It's even better after it sits for a little bit. And, and you can even make the meatballs in advance. You can just, you know, cook or fry them up and then finish them off. Oh, look at that, Wesley. On top of spaghetti. <laughs> finish them up in the sauce right before you're serving your guests. Sorry, I'm and just, I want to make let's give a you little one bed more. for these guys. I mean, yes. let's give it. Right you down one. the front there. There we go. Making a bed, making a bed. Hold on, I got to get these all professionally placed. Oh, well, good luck on that. Hold on, hold on. Now I gotta give you a little more sauce because you know. There we go. Why not? I licked my finger. Okay, well, <laughs> we, we would expect no less. Okay, now you need to have the, you know, we're, we're going we're going old school here. I'll tell Let you me. when. Okay. <laughs> On top of old. All, all covered with cheese. Okay, and Don't then, sneeze. Please. I don't wanna lose my meatball. And then a little bit of a parsley just cause it's wow. just so pretty. Is all that right, not let's beautiful? Let's get you some meatballs. Get me a meatball. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Oh, I am so excited to eat. Snug in though in that. I'm gonna put a little marinara on your. Thank yours. you. We're working as a team. And then we're gonna do. A I'll little, do my own cheese. You got your cheese. Okay. Cheese, please. Cheese, please. Okay. Do you guys, cheese. this is this is so much fun. I mean, it, I love going to our favorite Italian restaurant more than anyone. But I tell you what, just bring, it. making it for your own at home. Sorry, no, sorry. Y'all, look at that. Look at that plate of meatballs, it's spaghetti and meatballs. Oh. Okay, right, I, I know, I can't it. wait anymore. This is insane. Yeah. And these meatballs are so I'm tender. I'm just going to use my, there we oh, go. Look so how tender that meatball is. I'm, I'm just going in, oh, there they, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, I know. Okay, okay, okay. I, I can't even be, this is my favorite. Since a kid, meat, spaghetti and meatballs, it's just been, I'm going, I've got a big, huge bite here. I don't care. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, I got some spaghetti yeah, all over the place. chunk of meat there. All okay. right, let's go in. Let's go in.
Better and better every time you make Has these. Has there ever been anything more comforting? Oh. Better and better. Oh, the, oh, the marinara. Oh, those meatballs. Mm. Mm. Oh, your spaghetti is perfect. Uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Cook to al dente mm. if you can. Um, mm. Oh my gosh, you guys. I. I'm in heaven. I am in Italian heaven. Wow. All right. No meatballs around it. These, these are, I want to stay at 100,000% ludicrous. Yes, yes, yes. I have a sneaking suspicion. Oh. Meatballs do it every time. Wow. You guys, it's, and, and it's, it's one of those, this oh. is so great to serve family style. I'm just going to, yep. I'm just going to put the whole meatball in my mouth. Do it. When you go to one of those big old great Italian restaurants and they like bring you a big old bun and everyone goes, wow, you can do that now at home. We love you so much. Make spaghetti and meatballs. Do it. I love bone. It makes so much better. Meatball. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>